everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to attempt to show you, it was a requested video, I'm going to attempt to show you the brush and pencil, colour pencil powder blender. I don't know how well the camera is actually going to pick it up but I promise you that using it in real life you can 100% tell the difference. Um, I found that it works better with polychromos pencils. Uh, I did test it with Black Widows last night but it's okay. They don't work with uh, Prismacolors very well. I'm assuming that's because of the wax and these are oil based. So what I'm going to do, we'll zoom in first. And I'm just going to lightly put a layer down. What colour have I chosen here? Rose Carmine. So it's just a very light layer. I'll zoom you in a little bit more. That should be a bit better. <clears throat> so yeah, that's just a light layer of that pencil. And I'll apply the powder now. You can apply the powder either before the colour pencil or you can put a layer down, apply the powder then and then go over the top. I tend to just put a thin layer over first. Don't bother adding any more. And I'm just using my soft tools from the Pan Pastels to apply it to the paper. So as you can see, I used barely anything. It looks a little bit like uh, face powder. There's no smell to it, no nothing. It's very uh, fine, fine milled. So I can just about see it on the paper there. I know the camera won't pick it up. <clears throat> I'm very, very lightly going in and I'm barely even touching the paper and as you can see it's putting it down a lot smooth, smoother. I hope you can see that, that's a lot more even. The only downside is you do get all these bits on your paper. So let me just take that off. Right, so I'm going to go over the second layer with this one. So this is the one that with no powder on. And then we will go over the one with the um, powder blender. As you can see, it's just a lot more even. All right, I'm gonna add a different color now. We will try with a purple. Let's see how these two blend together. We've got light, uh, light red violet. Start off at the top, bring the color down. Like so. And we'll do the same thing from the bottom. There's actually a sound as well when you're colouring over the powder. It's like it's give the surface of the paper some grip. So I'll go in again with the pink shade. And again over the powdered area. And just once more with the purple shade. Right, let's wipe that off. I really don't know if the camera is going to pick up any difference whatsoever, but in person. Uh, using the pencils, having them in your hand, it's a lot easier to get that blend. Sorry, I'm trying to find the camera. There you go. Yeah, in person, it's a lot easier to get the blend. It's not, um, I wouldn't say, you know, with polychromos, you'd usually have to put a couple of layers down, wouldn't you? 
<clears throat> slowly build up the layers but I feel like I can put just probably one or two layers down and get uh, a nice blend from that. I'm just gonna go over, we'll go over her face. Let me keep organised, put all my pens back, pens, pencils. It feels like an age since I've properly done a video so I feel like I'm stuttering. <laughs> Um, right, so we'll go in now again, and you'll see how much I actually use. There's barely anything on there, and that amount will do her whole face, if not all of her, actually. I haven't tried to apply it with anything else yet, just the soft tools. Obviously, be careful with this because if you drop it, it is going to make a mess and you're going to waste it. Right, so the lid's on tight there now. <clears throat> and I'll go in with the one that I always use for skin, light flesh. I will zoom you it back in a little bit. Move this over. And as you can see, I'm putting barely any pressure on the pencil and the colour is just coming out fantastic. Even if you didn't really want to use this let's say, for say blending, it's a lot easier to put the colour down on the page. Let's say if you've got sore wrists or if you've got arthritis in your hands, your elbows, it just makes it a lot easier to apply the colour to the page. I'm just using circle motions just to apply the colour. A slightly darker shade which will be her vermilion red and we'll just add a little bit of shading but as you can see I'm honestly I'm barely touching the paper and the colours just easily coming off especially with these harder pencils I still do prefer my pr prismas I love my prismas but I still uh, use my polys but I tend to my hand hurts after a while using these but since using the blender I've not had a problem go over the same areas again just with the lighter shade the light flesh so I ordered this off Amazon surprise surprise uh, it wasn't an Amazon Prime product so it must be um, an independent seller that sells on Amazon <coughs> but I think it came in three days I believe it was below £10, it was about £9 I think. But as you can see, I don't feel the need to go over that with um, a blender or a blending stump. I, I'm, I mean, I'm quite happy with that. Like I said, the only problem is the little bits of residue you get. I think that's because you're dragging the pigment on the paper and it's mixing with the powder, you know, and it, it does clump up slightly, but you blow it off and it's fine, just don't smudge it. <clears throat> like I said, I'm happy with that. I don't feel like I need to mess around with it anymore. Might add a little bit of blush, maybe. Yep. Um, I'll go in with, this is, this is gonna be, it's medium flesh. It might be a too similar now, it should be okay. Just a little bit. It's 
so I will link this product down below for anybody that's interested <clears throat> like I said it's called brush and pencil that's the brand name and it's called color pencil powder blender I know that there's all sorts of ways that you can use this but this is the only way that I've used it at the moment so I do hope this video was helpful and for the lady that requested it I hope this helped like I said I'll link it down below and I'll see you in the next one bye